killed. Well, here in Israel, wildfires rage during a major heat wave. Police ordered the evacuation of several communities in the country's center and south. Firefighters battled brush fires along the Gaza border, near Ben Gurion International Airport, and outside Jerusalem. And officials even closed the major Tel Aviv Jerusalem highway to traffic because of the fires. Israel and the region are in the grip of a major heat wave, with temperatures around the country reaching 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit and even higher. Well, here in Jerusalem, police are investigating another fire, the firebombing of a Christian TV studio. So far, police don't have any suspects in the firebombing of the Daystar Television Network's facilities. While the attack destroyed its new studio, Daystar plans to rebuild. The fire began early Saturday morning when an arsonist started a fire in the Daystar studio. Daystar was in the midst of a major renovation and upgrade of its studio here in Jerusalem overlooking Mount Zion and the Temple Mount. The fire destroyed the new work and much of the existing facility. The control room is, uh, I'd say, probably totally devastated. Dave Charette, the general contractor overseeing the renovations, showed us the destruction. This is where we filmed from. There were four cameras that would be, uh -huh. be back in this area here. and. Marcus and Joni would be, or their interviewee would be sitting here, uh -huh. and then you have this fabulous view behind them. Yeah. These before and after shots reveal the extent of the devastation. We're here in the new Daystar TV studios in Jerusalem, Israel. Marcus and Joni Lamb dedicated the Daystar Jerusalem studio in October of 2009. Daystar is one of the largest Christian television networks in the world that reaches more than 200 countries and nearly 700 million people with its programs. Daystar was in the home stretch of its construction. We just started with the construction of it, putting things back, getting the electric in place, and getting the, uh, the walls built mm -hmm. and, uh, so we can meet our June 1st deadline, and then this happened. Even in the midst of the destruction, Charette believes God is at work. I believe that God has a, a reason and a purpose, and at the very least, he'll redeem what has happened here. So these ashes will raise up, be raised up and uh, proclaim the glory of God. Daystar pledges to continue their Jerusalem operations and asks for prayer for continued protection. Alpha.